Hello and welcome to the 16th video in this series making Simple Flappy Robin for Android using Cocoa Studio X version 3. Before we get started here, the settings seen in the last video, I noticed I've still got the include for C Robin at the top of the file here. Well, we don't need that. So we can get rid of that straight away. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to add a new scene and I want to add a splash scene. So that's something that will pop up on the screen for three or four seconds as before the, uh, to make it look like the game's loading. When in fact, it isn't because it loads fairly instantly. And then the main screen comes on. So the way we'll do that is we'll add that class in last. We'll make the changes, the other changes to the code that we need first. The first thing we need is a new uh, number, obviously, constant for our splash scene. So we'll call this one splash. We'll just give this a two. And now inside the app delegate, instead of this code here, which starts our hello world scene, we can now actually, and maybe we could have already done it at the end of the last video, is just start the scene from our C game manager. So we can say C game manager and then our instance and run scene. And here we want to run the K scene splash. And now you can start seeing the advantage of using constants and stuff in this way. If we ever add another scene in and want to change things, the only place in the code to do that is simply changing this here like this. And the scene is then run for us. So that then will run our splash scene. Of course, we don't actually have a splash scene to run yet inside the C game manager here. At the moment, we can only run a game or a setting scene. So if we ran the application now, we would get a black screen and not a lot else because we haven't told it to run in everything. So what we'll do now is add in this splash scene. And this is going to be one of the few videos where there's going to be a bit of pasted code because in the last video, particularly, you've seen what we're going to do already. I'll make the skeleton of the class, but then I'm going to add in with a lot of repetitive code, so the lazy way, um, just some, some graphics on the screen and stuff, but the main thing is just to understand um, how it's done. So anyway, so the new class, then we want to call it, um, well, it's a C++ class, obviously, and then we'll call it our splash scene and create. And now let's do another hack job. Let's jump into setting scene and just copy the class definition completely here, like so. Um, before we go into the nuts and bolts, let's just remove all of this private stuff and we'll add in one function and it'll be called run game screen. And this function, this is maybe the only new thing in this video, is a function that we'll call after four seconds. So this scene will be, um, or this layer will be shown on the screen with its graphics and title. And then we'll call this run game screen, which will tell the C game manager to run the main game scene. So obviously inside here, then we need our splash scene class definition. Otherwise things are going to be difficult and we need the splash scene here. And we're not going to respond to any touches. So we can take out already this on touch began. So down into the implementation part of the scene, then uh, the first thing we need to do is go to setting scene again. And let's just uh, let's just take all of the code that's in here from constants down to C game manager. Uh, we won't need the add label and stuff, but I'll delete those out uh, in a minute. So add label we don't need. We could have needed because uh, we're going to be adding some labels. But like I said, I'm going to, you can download and maybe just paste the code in because I'm going to add things in differently. We don't need the listener because we're not responding to any touches. We don't need any of this stuff here. We do need the background here because we are going to add a background, uh, visible size, file name, blah, blah, blah. OK. And then we need our splash scene. And at the top here, we need our splash scene and our splash scene. Now, one thing that will catch you out here, you may think, OK, we'll generate our scene. Now, there's one thing inside here that will catch you out if you don't think about it. You remember that inside hello world scene.cpp, we have C game manager here set up the scale factors. And if we don't call this, then we don't set up our file extensions and things like that. So we need to take this line, actually, whoops, and not delete it completely, otherwise nothing will ever work. And copy this and drop this now into our splash scene to make sure that we set up our scale factors and things. Otherwise, things are not going to run very well. So we have our already our setting up of our background here. And we're going to add on um, some more sprites into the scene. And this is where I said I'm actually going to drop some code in. So cut the edit the video, I'll type it out. And then when you come back in the video in a click um, or in a second, it'll um, have some code added. I'm sorry I've done it like this. I don't usually, but it really is completely repetitive. And uh, yes, like I said, you should usually have your own library developed with this stuff. Um, so it makes it uh, faster anyway. But I'm going to add a floor, a robin, and a couple of clouds to the scene. 
Okay, so we're back. The indexer is currently processing. Hopefully everything's okay. It's just built. So along with the background then here, we've got the floor added, which you should be familiar with anyway. I've added just a Robin sprite. We don't need to do anything to it at a certain position. And then we've got a cloud in and another cloud in also at a scaled position. Just um, added onto the, uh, and in fact I've just seen an error I've done here, I just need to call this actually a sprite rather than anything else, I've called it a robin as well, um, which was rather silly. Okay then, so we've got a couple of clouds added in here as well which just uh, get put on the screen, and now what I want to do then is I want to add in also a couple of labels and again I'm going to drop the code in here and then just talk through the code just download and paste it in because it's repetitive stuff and stuff we've seen before and it's not really contributing at all to bringing us forward and it's a lot of typing for what it is. So that's it um, copied in um, and we have just a simple Flappy Robin title positioned somewhere on the screen and then we also have simple, uh, sorry, a tutorial app by Blue Feversoft also put on the screen. And the interesting thing for this whole class really is the run game screen function. And this is the thing that's maybe new that we haven't covered yet in the series. And what we do need actually is a float delta time in here. And we need a float delta time. Aye, aye, aye. Hello brackets. Okay, good. So just put the prefix on for the splash scene here. Okay, so what we want is we want, after four seconds, we want the game manager instance then to run a scene and it'll be the K scene game, like so. So the application starts in the app delegate, we run our splash scene. And then inside our splash scene after four seconds, we run our game scene. But you'd be thinking, okay, but how do we know it runs after four seconds? Well, all we need to do is we need to say this, and then there's schedule once here. And you can here see, see that we say what our selector is, so what function we want to call, and then the delay time as well. So we have our schedule selector, and we want our splash scene, and it's our run game screen we don't need anything in here and all we need to specify then here is the 4.0 f our uh, float our four seconds time that we want to wait before the scene actually runs then this run game screen is called and then we replace games uh, this current scene with our game scene and that actually if i just hit build is all we need to do to run our new scene so I'm just going to run the application and we get a black screen which is always very very good and the reason obviously is is I've forgotten inside the game manager to actually tell it to run our scene so what we'll do is we'll include our splash scene and now inside this if here we add in the else if and the k scene splash and here we just need to say splash scene and run again And now you can see we have our splash scene, after hopefully around four seconds, we flick onto our game scene where we've then got our settings and stuff like that. Good, so that's it then for this video. Um, I apologise again if it's annoying that I've asked you to paste this code in here. Um, like I said, you should really have got the idea by now, and I promise I won't repeat this again, but I'm conscious of it because people get annoyed with things like this. But I would of course normally have a small library that allows adding of labels and sprites calling just one function rather than repeating the code in this way but for the sake of this series I'll leave it like this. So we have our splash scene on, we have our settings scene on. Um, the next thing to do now is actually to start at least keeping score during the game. High scores and saving a settings we'll deal with in the Java layer in Eclipse and we're actually getting pretty close to um, having uh, to develop the project further using Eclipse now. So thanks very much for watching and comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.